What's up beauties, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another week of Hair Week Summer Edition. We are focusing on methods and different techniques. We are dyeing hair, crazy colors, we're doing U-part wigs, we're doing the glueless cap, we're using glue, we're doing we're doing all types of different methods. So if you guys are unaware with Hair Week, if you haven't seen, I think I've done two before, maybe three. I think too. Um, I will spend the whole week just posting hair videos for you guys and showing you guys different styles that you can rock in the summer um, since this is the summer edition and just as I said different methods different techniques. So today for the very first time I am going to be trying the stocking cap method. I'm sure you've seen a ton of videos on it before. If you've been rocking with me for a while you guys know I normally never wear wig caps. I'm just like not into them but I did want to try this method. I've seen videos of people who love the method. I've seen people who didn't like the method so I am going to be trying it out for the first time today. There's probably things I could have done better, but overall I am really happy with how it came out. So personally, I'd say that the stocking cap method is if you want to wear the same unit for X amount of days. Say you got a summer block party back to back to back to back. You know, you're gonna be lit out with your friends out late. You know, you may not take off your makeup. You should, but you kind of have it already ready. You just have to do touch-ups every single day. So that's what I would recommend if you are going to do this stocking cap method. So if you want to know how I achieve this look, you want to do the, the, mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want to do the stocking cap method, sit back, relax, grab your wine, grab your ice cream, whatever you need, but secure your edges because you're about to be snatched. So today's unit is from Eva Wigs. I have received hair from them before and absolutely love it. This is the SK1735 unit. It's the number two darkest brown, 24 inches, 150% density. It's got a light brown lace color and an average wig cap size. Um, I have not gone in to pluck any area of this unit. I just cut the 360 lace from all around it and I did curl the hair a little bit more. There are a few light brown highlights in this unit which I really love and the hair is incredibly soft as well. So with my own hair I just did two little braids in the back and we're just gonna wrap them around and bobby pin them up on the other side. So for the application I'm first taking my got to be ultra glued invincible styling gel which is some thick gluey stuff and we're just gonna put that all around the hairline I really put it like right below my hairline because I do have really thin baby hairs and I didn't want to risk them coming out when I'm taking this off even though it is like it'll come off with water but um, just to protect my baby hairs more I'm putting it like right on the outside right past my hairline and then I took a deluxe wig cap. This one is in the color, I'm not sure. I think it's like light tan, light tan. Uh, it's like tan or light brown, I don't really know. Now the whole point of this is so that you don't see that thick band that's across wig caps you want to pull it down kind of over your ears you're gonna look like a thumb girl but it's cute it's fine and i'm just pressing in that got to be gel into the wig cap as well so you can see it's kind of on my hairline um but i just didn't want to apply it directly on there if you get what i'm saying but next we are taking the got to be glued blasting free space no 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 blasting okay blasting free spray i'm just spraying that um by the hairline as well kind of where i put that glue this one is gonna touch my hair a little bit more and my little spritzer sprout thing what's it called the little spray part of it was being like i think stuff hardened around it so it wasn't really coming out right but anyway do your best i know mine looks messy but you'll get it done girl it's fine and you're just gonna put that on top of the gel and kind of push that back into your hairline as well so what you want to do is make sure all of that is hardened because it will be a little bit tacky it will be a little sticky you want to make sure it's all dry and it's all hardened now we're going to cut it all off which you should probably use scissors that actually work. Mine have seen better days, so I was struggling a little bit trying to like cut this lace or cut this um, stocking cap off. But people will use smaller scissors or like nail scissors, anything sharp that'll work. If anything, you'll like poke your skin, but it's fine. You're cool. So by my ear, I'm just tucking that behind like so. And I did go a little crazy with this gel and glue and it's kind of too far on my head. I don't have a super long forehead, but um, I did not want it this far down. So I did kind of have to peel it back up a little bit. It felt like doing a face mask to cut some more off just so that it's not super far on my head and my part looks like it's starting in the middle of my forehead. So after that, I'm just taking some more of the gel and applying that where the little roll 
rollies came up they were turning up up here I said no you better lay down and then we're blow drying all of that again next is a part that I just kind of messed up on like I don't know what I was doing but I took my Maybelline foundation and this brush that is not for foundation and tried to like stipple it in there I I don't know if I should use a different brush or like a different fountain. I don't know. At the end, it blends like it's cool, but this part, it looks a hot mess. I'm sorry. So I did that with the foundation and then put powder on top of it. And we're serving looks, kind of. Like, that's not really right, but that's the best we could do. It's cool. And then we're taking the wig. It does have three combs and adjustable straps in the back. And we're just going to do a little play test run to see if we like how this is going. Yes, we like how it's flowing. We like the part. We're looking cool. All right. Awesome. So I am going back in and putting a little bit more gel on top of that. We're putting some more because this is what's going to stick to the wig, the hairline. So I did adjust the adjustable straps and I put that on my head. I moved the part around where I want it. And then we're just going to blow dry all of that onto the gel we just put on. After that, I went in and trimmed the baby hairs and then I styled the rest of the unit off camera only because it's nothing out of the ordinary of what I normally do with my wigs. So I just added some edge control and then I did add a little bit of an oil sheen. I'm pretty proud of it. For my first time doing it, I think we did pretty well. So I will have all of Eva Wigs links in the description box below. Be sure to check them out. So that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned every other day this week or every day this week, not every other day. Tune in every day this week because it's hair week summer edition I got new videos for you guys every day including some really cool colors that I'm like really hyped about so be sure to stay tuned make sure you're subscribed if you're new here and I'll see you guys in my next video bye y'all